Oh, thank you. Um, I've already seen this film. I absolutely loved it. I became obsessed with it immediately and was like, I cannot wait to see it again. Um, I hope you got to see it in a theater, too. I yes, always feel I bad when people are screening it because I'm like, comedies kind of need an audience. Absolutely. No, this is one that begs to be seen on the big screen. Absolutely. What was it about Lisa Frankenstein that made you want to be a part of it? I mean, it made me laugh even just reading it, um, especially if you're going to approach a comedy. I really would like to hope that an audience is just going to sit around and guffaw together, and that's what it did for me, and I was alone in my house during the pandemic, so I felt like that was a good sign. I mean, the cast is incredible. Can you talk about, you know, landing them, and were they kind of like your dream cast, I guess? Well, it was in this case, it was also easy, because Cole's one of my best friends, so I was like, buddy, let's go! Um, it, the one that I think was the most jarring for me was when Carla hopped on because I just never in a million years thought I'd get to work with like she's such a legend and I've loved so many films she's in but it all came together really organically to be honest the only thing that's strange is the pandemic changed our industry so much that you didn't get to do the usual things that you do when you cast people like a chemistry read or like a table read and that's for a director really daunting because um, you'd like to get to know what they're going to be like around each other. For all I could have known, they might have hated each other. When, <laughs> thankfully, they did not. But that's the fear for that. But we, we really lucked out. Yeah, when you were looking over the script, was there one part that you were, like, a little nervous to shoot? Maybe you thought it wasn't going to come together well? Um, not so much nervous. It's just always interesting when you're talking about something that is very kind of out of left field and um, unexpected, and you never know if other people are going to like your sense of humor that's the most jarring one with a comedy I'm like I think this is funny but I don't know if anyone else does especially murder I was like these are funny to me and yet right now I'm like I think some people might be like are you okay um, but I, I just I had a blast no I mean it's so much fun it's an absolute blast of a movie it's great congratulations uh, final question what are you most excited for people to see in this movie one of the scenes that I had the most fun pitching um, is the kind of final pivotal uh, murder and I won't spoil it but that one was so fun to describe in a room and it very much largely on screen is how I described it um, so I hope they have as much fun laughing at that scene as I had and it was me tossing the prosthetic back and forth <laughs> because no one could get the toss right so on set it was also really funny oh, I love that so much <laughs> congratulations thank you nice to meet you I'd love to know what it was about Lisa Frankenstein that made you want to be a part of it Absolutely. I think how fun the story was. You know, when you think of a horror movie, sometimes it can be just very, like, serious. And I think what about this film is so fun is there's so many comical elements to it. And I love playing, like, with different genres like that. So I think when... You know, I read the script and I read Lori's character. And, you know, she's a ditzy character and I've never played anything like that before too. So I think that also striked my interest as well because whenever I do projects, I want to challenge myself. I don't want to continuously play the same roles. So it was fun to dive into a new characteristic of a person that I could dive into. So I think that is what attracted me to me most about the project. But when you were reading the script, was there one scene in particular that you were like, I cannot wait to film this scene? Oh my goodness, I believe... We have a night scene where we film at this house and I talk directly to to the camera. And it's one of those moments like I grew up like, you know, watching Disney Channel, all these different things. And so a moment where you actually get to talk to the camera, I always wanted to film. So I am so excited to see how that turned out because, you know, for me, it was just me POV looking into a camera and now it's going to be me looking out into the audience. So that's going to be kind of a wacky, fun thing to see. Well, besides that, what else are you excited for audiences to see in this film? Ooh, I'm excited for them to see how, you know, the creature came to be. You know, I think there's going to be a lot of suspicion with that of how that works. It's not the traditional Frankenstein and a green thing. It's like this whole new creature. And I'm really excited for people to see that. And I'm interested to see if they will take Catherine's side and her character's side or they will rebel against it. Because in Megan, they took Megan's side. And so it'll be interesting to see what side they choose. Well, speaking of Megan, I've got to tell you, it's my 11-year-old daughter's favorite film in the entire no world. No way! Yes, she absolutely loves it. She uh, has, like, a Beware of Megan sign that she puts stop up. Stop it! She's obsessed. That's so, so sweet. So we're very much looking for, forward to uh, Megan, too. Uh, cannot wait. Thank you. Are you excited for that? I, I am very excited. I, I'm just... I'm just beyond thrilled. I'm so thankful that everybody loved the prior film. I mean, going into my audition for the role in my closet, I had no clue it was going to be what it turned out to be. And I'm very thankful that the horror community uh, just 
admired it and adored it so much because I know that community is tough and they know what they like and so it, it just meant everything to me. Yeah. How do you think Megan would fare in the uh, Lisa Frankenstein universe? You know, I think she would fare pretty good. She might mix some things up, kill a few people. I mean, definitely my character would be sliced and diced because she has no brain cells. So my character would definitely be dead, but you know. I mean, you know, you never know. She might become friends with her. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know that Megan would put up with her very. <laughs> Probably not. She'd be like, "You're annoying. You don't have any brain cells. Let's cut you off." But. <laughs> so, well, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. I've seen this film already. I loved it. You're phenomenal. Oh my God! Thank You're you so, so much. much fun in this. But I'd love to know what it was that drew you to want to be a part of this. The story itself, like, it's such a fun story, and it takes place in the '80s, and it was written by Diablo Cody and Zelda. Williams is a friend of mine and she's just one of the most amazing human beings on earth. The cast, I've, I've always looked up to Cole. Um, Catherine, I'm actually a huge fan of some of the work that she's done. So I was like, it's the perfect film. Why wouldn't I want to be part of this? Yeah, when you were reading uh, the script, was there something you were most in particular very excited to film? I was very excited to film the scene where Henry's character's penis gets cut off. <laughs> That scene is fantastic. I was excited to see how they would do it. Like, I just, I couldn't imagine it. Yeah. What was it like in that moment? It was, it was really fun. There was a lot of, like, technical aspects to it, like, with the, the props department and everything yeah. and our acting, timing and everything. But it was, it was really fun. It, the, we were expecting it to be a hard scene because of all the different variants, right? But it was actually the most fun I think we all had. It was our first scene together, like, um, with Cole and Catherine and Henry. So we were just laughing the whole time on the set. And what is it like working with someone when they don't speak the whole time? Honestly, I didn't have to deal with that that much because I've only had like one or two scenes with Cole. Um, so yeah, I, it didn't really bother me that much. I can't imagine what it was like for Catherine, like having to memorize all those lines and just be talking to like a wall. <laughs> you know what I mean? But no, Cole was excellent. Like he didn't need to speak with words. His body language was like saying all the dialogue for him. So I think whether or not like he had dialogue it would have been easy regardless yeah absolutely he's phenomenal i mean you guys are all great uh final question i would love to know what you're most excited for people to see in this film i'm excited for them to see like the the lovely set the outfits the makeup and excited for them to see cole and Catherine. honestly they killed it in this film cole even though like he didn't speak much he did an amazing job he went to mime classes for this so like he really had to learn how to use his body to talk Catherine, she's phenomenal in like all the horror films that she does i think she kills it every time and she she's just so quirky in this film and i'm excited for people to see that side of her amazing well thank you so much hello congratulations Hi. thank you so much when you were looking at the script was there one scene in particular that you were most excited to film yeah it was actually the first scene i actually shot too which is that scene in the end where we sever with the axe <laughs> Um, definitely that one. That one was a lot of fun. It turned out how you hoped it would? Yeah, it was my first day on set. It was a lot of fun. We got to get all the practical effects. Everyone's screaming. Um, it, yeah, it had the whole movie kind of in one day, which was nice. Amazing. Thank you. Congratulations. Of course. Thank you. When you were looking over the script, was there one scene in particular you were most excited to film? You know, I think, um, well, the, 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 the scene that ended up being super fun to film because we kind of decided what it was going to be in the moment is when I have the Walkman on and we decided, I, I'm like, I think I should be drinking a martini while cleaning and, you know, so that and listening to a self-help tape. The whole thing just made perfect sense somehow to both Zelda and I. So that ended up being the funnest scene. But when I read the script, um, I found her being obsessed with her figurines and the fact that everything had to be just so um, because I am a Virgo. I'm a a little bit of a perfectionist and so I'm certainly nothing like Janet but that scene really made me laugh <laughs> amazing well you're phenomenal in this Thank congratulations you so much